don't have time. Just leave it. You don't have time. Oh my God. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Chris Bean, the director of the Cornley Polytechnic Drama Society. And I'm delighted to be presenting to you this evening an extract from the murder at Haversham Manor, my directorial debut. We are... <laughs> We are thrilled to be presenting this piece because, as you can see, we have managed to secure a much larger budget than usual. So we will certainly be able to outshine our rather underfunded 2014 production of Roald Dahl's classic, James and the Peach. <laughs> <laughs> or last Christmas is The Lion and the Wardrobe. Or indeed, our summer musical, Cat. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, on to the main event. So, without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for... The, not yet. <laughs> for the murder at Haversham Manor! Florence, I'm sorry you have to see him like this. My fiancé. Are you sure he's dead, Thomas? I'll take his pulse. Charles gone. What a horror. <laughs> There's no question. He's passed away. I'm dumbfounded. He was as right as rain an hour ago. <laughs> but who on earth would want to murder him? He was so kind, so generous. A true philanthropist. <laughs> We must telephone the police, Perkins. Inspector Carter's already on his way. Although I imagine it must be difficult to get here in this snowstorm. <laughs> Where is he? My... <laughs> oh, oh, uh... Uh, 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 my brother dead? It can't be. He always tried to hide it, but his depression must have finally have overcome him. I believe it was suicide. It's true. His smile was often merely a facade. But now... <laughs> but, but, Mr. Havisham, do you think there might have been someone with the means of motivation to kill Charles? Nonsense. <clears throat> <laughs> Nonsense. It was suicide. There's no need to squabble. We're sure to get to the bottom of this now that the inspector has arrived. <laughs> uh, we're sure to get to the bottom of this now the inspector has arrived. What a terrible snowstorm. <laughs> I'm Inspector Carter. This must be Charles Haversham. Take the body upstairs so I can examine it. Yes, Inspector! Are there any ideas as to the cause of death, Inspector? Could be a number of things. Strangulation, suffocation, poison. Before fully examining the body, I wouldn't like to say. How could someone do it? Try not to think about it, Miss Collymore. As soon as I've finished... Uh, <laughs> up... Stairs. I'll speak to everyone individually, and then you can get some space to calm your nerves. Thank you, Inspector. This is all more than I can bear. I shall return presently. As soon as I've finished examining the body. <laughs> Chris, Chris. <laughs> well, thank you.
God. Oh, Cecil, I can't bear this. I can't take it a moment longer. If they find out about our affair, we'll be suspect. <laughs> What's the matter, Florence? Calm down! Stop shouting! <laughs> She's having one of her episodes. <laughs> Snap out of it, you're hysterical. <laughs> Miss Collymore, where are you going? <laughs> Come back here this instant. <laughs> She's run off. <laughs> I'll fetch her back. You stay here, Cecil. I dare say the inspector will have some questions for you. You were Charles's brother, after all. Well, do you have any questions for me, Inspector? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you and your brother, did you get along well? Up and down. There was rather more strain on our relationship when father died. And it was certainly no secret that our father cared for Charlie more than myself. I see. This is your father in the portrait, is it not? It is. <laughs> he looks the spit of Charles, doesn't he? He did ever since he was quite young, yes. You were the junior by four years. Almost four, and didn't I know it? Charles would patronize and embarrass me throughout our entire childhood. <laughs> always got in your Father always took his side. If he ever didn't get his own way, he was <laughs> You're suggesting I had something to do with his murder, then you're mistaken. I see. Chris, Chris, Chris. It's a dark night, says you. Inspector. You can barely even make out the trees. <laughs> Listen, yes, well, what are you saying, <laughs> Inspector? I'm saying, says all the tonight will be the perfect night for you to marry your brother. Please, I don't know how that difference is. But deep down, who cares for one another? I've had an appearance here on the chair. Charlie's murder. But do you really think that we killed him? Perhaps. But for now, at least, we are one step closer to solving the murder at Habersham Manor. Go, go, go. 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 